Electrofusion involves application of short high voltage electric pulses to cells in close contact. In this video, we demonstrate electrofusion of cells in vitro by means of modified adherence method. Experiments were performed on mouse melanoma cells B16F1. For the experiment, follow these steps. Grow cells in two separate culture flasks to 80% confluence. Separately add 2.1 microliters of each stock solution, 10 millimolar CMFDA or CMRA respectively, to 3 milliliters of Krebs Hepes buffer in a centrifuge tube. Rinse cells twice with Krebs Hepes buffer and then insert loading solutions into the flasks. Loading solutions contain approximately 7 micromolar CMFDA or CMRA respectively. Incubate cells for 30 minutes in a controlled atmosphere. During this first incubation, regions pass freely through cell membranes into the cytosol, where they are transformed into membrane impermeant reaction products. After this first incubation, rinse and then incubate the cells with culture medium for another two hours. The cells are observed using a fluorescence microscope equipped with a cooled CCD camera. In the acquisition software, set the excitation wavelength to 548 nanometers and choose an appropriate bandpass filter for red fluorescence image of the cells loaded with CMRA. For the cells loaded with CMFDA, set the excitation wavelength to 492 nanometers and choose a bandpass filter for green fluorescence image. Trypsinize and count the cells in both flasks and mix red and green cells together in a ratio 1 to 1. Adjust cell concentration to 5 million cells per milliliter. Place a 20 microliters drop of cell suspension in the middle of each well in a 24 multi-well plate. Incubate cells in a controlled atmosphere for 20 minutes to allow cells to slightly attach to the surface of the well in a monolayer and establish cell contacts between themselves. Place the multi-well with cells onto the microscope stage. Position the electrodes at the bottom of the well and connect them to the pulse generator. To achieve optimal electrofusion and maintain cell viability, adequate parameters of electric pulses should be used. These parameters depend on cell line and should be determined in preliminary experiments. Remove the culture medium and wash the cells with 1 ml isoosmolar potassium phosphate buffer. Add 350 microliters hypoosmolar potassium phosphate buffer in order to induce cell swelling. Leave cells in hypoosmolar buffer for 2 minutes before applying electric pulses. Electric pulses should be applied when cells are close to their maximum volumes, that is, before they start regulatory volume decrease. In our experiment, a train of 8 rectangular pulses with duration of 100 microseconds at 1 Hz was applied. After pulse delivery, leave the cells undisturbed for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, Determine the fusion yield by means of phase contrast and fluorescent microscopy. Acquire three images, phase contrast, red and green fluorescence, at five randomly chosen fields of view in each well. Create three channel images from each image triplet in ImageJ software. In order to improve visual quality of images, two pre-processing steps can be applied to the original images. Background subtraction and contrast enhancement, with default parameters sets. Finally, three channel images are composed using RGB to grey image J plugin. In such image, the resting cytoplasm can be seen together with cell membranes, thus few cells can easily be determined. In the three channel image, count all three types of cells, red, green and dually fluorescent. Determine the percentage of dually fluorescent cells by dividing the number of dually fluorescent cells with the number of all cells in each image. Fusion yield is then defined as the percentage of dually fluorescent cells multiplied by 2 since half of the fused cells are not detected when cells of the same color fuse.